Hello, and welcome to the University of Florida College of Health and Human Performance Virtual Commencement Ceremony for the recipients of the Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science, and Bachelor of Science degrees. I'm Michael Reed, Dean of the College. We will begin the ceremony with the singing of our national anthem, led by Ms. Michelle Smith, Assistant Dean for Inclusion in the College of Health and Human Performance and Levin College of Law. Please stand and join in singing. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch or so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Michelle. And thanks to the audience for singing along. Please be seated. I would now like to introduce President Kent Fox. Greetings graduating students in the class of 2020. On behalf of the members of the UF Board of Trustees, our distinguished faculty and our entire university community, many congratulations. You have met all the requirements of your degree programs while rising above the extraordinary challenges of this year. And we are so proud of each of you who share in this momentous occasion. We have nearly 4,000 students graduating this month from the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and 47 states. We have graduating students from 76 countries on six continents, from Australia to Brazil, Costa Rica to Ethiopia, India to the Netherlands, Hong Kong to Pakistan, and the United Kingdom to Vietnam. We have a 19-year-old graduate with a bachelor's degree in biology, and a 69-year-old graduate with a master's degree in fisheries and aquatic sciences. 271 first-generation college students, and 411 students who will proudly join other family members or multiple generations of Gators in earning their UF diplomas. Many congratulations to each of you. As a father of four grown children, I know how important this moment is for families and friends of graduates. I congratulate and thank you for your support and devotion to these graduates. Class of 2020, I wish for you a good life filled with success and happiness. We at the University of Florida will always care for you and we will always cheer for you. Again, many congratulations and go Gators. Thank you, President Fox. We're here to celebrate the class of 2020, our newest graduates from the College of Health and Human Performance. Congratulations, graduates. We thank the families and friends attending today's ceremony for their generous support of these graduates. 
We also encourage our graduates to thank those who have helped them to where they are today. In this extraordinary year, our graduates experienced the emergence of the Black Lives Matter movement, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the resulting economic disruption. Yet our students persevered. They succeeded in their educational journey and they have earned their degrees. Here's some facts about our graduates. Today we'll be awarding 166 degrees, seven PhDs, 49 masters, and 110 bachelor's degrees. Our graduates represent seven different countries and 19 of these United States. 15% of our graduates have earned their degrees online. And importantly, a number of our graduates are being commissioned into the armed services or have served previously. These women and men have shown their commitment to preserving our nation and guaranteeing our freedom. On behalf of the college, I thank those graduates and extend our sincere appreciation for your service to our country. I would now like to introduce Mr. Christian Taylor. Mr. Taylor graduated with a bachelor's in sport management. He's known worldwide as a clutch performer in the men's triple jump. He's a two-time Olympic gold medalist and four-time world champion. When Taylor isn't competing, he's reaching out to kids via the Classroom Champions program. Mr. Taylor plans to participate in the postponed Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games this summer. Welcome, Mr. Taylor. Hello, Gator Nation, and thank you, Dean Reed, for the introduction. I am Christian Taylor and am a proud graduate from the College of Health and Human Performance, class of 2019. I want to begin by congratulating you on this extraordinary accomplishment. I would also like to congratulate and thank the parents, family, staff, and additional support that helped you reach this momentous occasion. Lastly, I would be remiss if I did not recognize the courageous men and women that found the time to serve our country while attending class simultaneously. I wish to give you a heartfelt thank you and congratulations to you all. We are grateful for your service. One year ago, I was standing exactly where you are today and going through a similar thought process many of you may be facing once the ceremony ends. Several of us may be asking the understandable question, now what? For many, we have overcome uncharted territory. For some, you've become the trailblazer by becoming the first college graduate in your family. Know that you have set the bar for generations to follow and have inspired lives near and far. This does not take away from those that had the set expectation of reaching this point. Know that this is not the moment to become stagnant. This is the moment to be bold, putting all that you've learned into action and become the individual you wish to be. Regardless of where you are now, be proud of what you have overcome and achieved. Do not dismiss the barriers you have torn down and the seasons through which you persevered. The road to this point was unique for us all and presented its various challenges. But this road put you exactly where you needed to be at precisely the right time. I imagine many of us graduated high school thinking in three to four years, you would be walking the stage and entering the workforce. Yet, life, and for some, grog house happened, and plans inevitably shifted. Trust me when I tell you I speak from experience. I arrived at the beautiful University of Florida in the fall of 2008. Several All-American, national, world, and Olympic titles later, I proudly cried and chomped as I accepted my diploma at the end of fall 2019. So you can do the math. This leads me to my first takeaway. Be proud of your journey because it helped mold you into the person you are today. Nature demonstrates this lesson beautifully. A tree that has to endure harsh elements must send its roots deeper into the soil to withstand whatever circumstances throw at it. In this way, the tree cannot topple over or be uprooted. 
In the same fashion, you have become resilient because you too have had to find ways to dig deeper than you may have previously thought imaginable to make it to this point. But similar to the tree, you are now equipped and prepared to weather any storm that may come your way. Secondly, I want you to know that every setback is far from a hindrance, but has the chance to be a setup for something far greater. It's all about perspective. In my sport, injuries are prevalent and can be unbelievably frustrating, mostly if they occur at a critical trial or worse, at a major championship. Outside of the sporting world, there will be multiple points where many of you may experience a job loss, being looked over for promotion, or entirely missing an exceptional opportunity that may help catapult you towards your dream. In all cases, your perspective will determine the true outcome of that setback while displaying the essence of your character. I encourage you to always find the silver lining, to locate the opportunity, learn from the incident, and put yourself in a better position for the future. We have all heard the saying, those that fail to plan, plan to fail. Let this never be said about you. You've reached this point because you plan to succeed. You plan to finish. You plan to create a better you. When reflecting on several books that positively influenced my life, I located the author's commonality referring to The Road Less Traveled. This reference is so significant because it puts people into two groups. It demonstrated to me that not everyone has what it takes. Not everyone is willing to make sacrifices. Not everyone dares to take that leap. Yet, those that walk this path never regret it. By choosing and graduating from the University of Florida, and additionally, the College of HHP, you have differentiated yourself from the majority. Not only can you proudly display a diploma from the sixth rank public school in the United States, but you have the unparalleled privilege to be amongst the esteemed few that make up the HHP family. Now, this graduation marks a significant moment in your life, and one I pray you never forget. It is the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. Most importantly, this day indicates the moment when you discover your why. This was the most critical component my mentor challenged me with as soon as I walked off the stage. As this driving force altered my life, I want to pass on this thinking to you. Finding your why can be the most powerful thing you do in your life. Your why will drive you when the going gets tough. It will separate you from your colleagues at work, and it will push you further than you've been before. It will take you around the world, or it will better the community around you. Your why will change nations, change the trajectory of our future, or make you a better person. Before you end today, ask yourself why. Why am I doing whatever you wish to do? Why are you pursuing that dream? Why me? When your why is strong enough, then you will be invincible. No rainy day, no missed opportunity, no setback, no person can stop a person whose why is vaster than everything else. Just as today signifies, Many of you had the why that was strong enough to reach this point. Now I invite you to refocus, realign, and reimagine a why that would redirect the rest of your life. Congratulations, class of 2020. The Gator Nation can't wait to see how you will shape tomorrow. Go Gators. Thank you for your address, Mr. Taylor. We now invite Ms. Monique Willis-Long from Orlando, Florida. Ms. Willis-Long is earning a Bachelor of Science in Health Education, cum laude, with a specialization in community health promotion. She is a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success, and also an Honor Society member. In addition, she's a proud mom of four and grandmother of one. Welcome, Ms. Willis-Long. 
Hello, and let me begin by saying thank you to the amazing support from all of the faculty, staff, and professors in the College of Health and Human Performance, as well as from my church family, friends, co-workers, family, and especially my children and beloved grandson, Timmy. Congratulations to the Health and Human Performance graduating class of 2020. We have each accomplished a major milestone in our lives. The year 2020 was a history-making year. It was a year that unveiled a global pandemic known as COVID-19. Our lives changed immediately as schools, work sites, and the world virtually shut down. Hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives, perhaps our loved ones, family, friends, or co-workers. The enthusiasm and excitement we had going into 2020, knowing this was going to be the year that we did it, walked across that stage and completed the educational pursuits we started, changed in an instant. We had to readjust, reevaluate, and become more committed than ever to see our dreams come to fruition. 2020 was also a year wrought with protests for racial justice and equality and an unprecedented election. Throughout all of these distractions, the class of 2020 persevered. We endured despite a global pandemic. We made sure our voices were heard to ensure that all Americans are treated fairly and deserve a seat at the table. And we performed our civic duty and exercised our right to vote. Whether you entered college right out of high school or you are a returning student like me, your ultimate goal was to pursue your educational pursuits at this great institution. As a returning student, after a 30-year hiatus, I am living proof that it is never too late to pursue your dreams. I originally started my educational endeavors right here out of high school, but there were some unexpected delays throughout my journey. I got married and had four beautiful children. However, our world was turned upside down when our youngest child, Carson, was diagnosed with a brain tumor at the age of seven. Carson fought valiantly, but unfortunately succumbed to his diagnosis. My family's lives were turned upside down with the loss of our precious Carson, and we somehow had to find the strength to go on living. Through Carson's journey, I was motivated more than ever to pursue a career in the health field. My major in health education and behavior will help me to serve those communities that are underserved, have health disparities, and need patient advocates. Carson's spirit helped me to never lose sight of wanting to finish what I started and graduate from the University of Florida and make a difference in the lives of those in need. Every graduate has a story to tell. Every graduate has their own journey but what I can say about the graduates of the class of 2020's College of Health and Human Performance is that we all endured a year like no other, and we all made it to this very moment. And for this, I say congratulations and job well done. If you can get through a year like we've had and make it to this point, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to accomplish. We're in a great position, graduates. The world is about to receive some of the most resilient, dedicated, convicted, well-educated graduates they have ever seen. After pushing through a year like 2020 and emerging victorious, the world is ready. Better yet, the world needs what we have to offer. As College of Health and Human Performance graduates, we are embarking upon an array of careers focused on health education and behavior, sport management, tourism, hospitality, and event management, and applied physiology and kinesiology. 
Our voices are waiting to be heard. Our voices need to be heard. So on this day, Health and Human Performance Graduating Class of 2020, give yourself a big hug. Tell yourself, job well done, and get ready to start your life's journey. As you journey out into the world, make your mark. Discover your purpose, whether you're continuing on with your educational endeavors or you're headed out into society. Never stop pursuing your hopes and dreams. That's the one thing I never gave up on, and that was pursuing my dream to finish what I originally started and graduate from the University of Florida. Once a dream is realized, pursue another. You're never too old or too young to dream. The University of Florida has left its gator print on your lives forever. Now you go and leave your imprint on the world. Congratulations 2020 Gator Nation graduates. Thank you, Ms. Willis Long. Now we've arrived at the moment you've eagerly awaited the conferring of degrees. I would like to welcome our Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Chris Janelle. Thank you, Dean Reed. It's my honor to present the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Science, and Bachelor of Science degrees. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree please rise? Dean Reed, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and having been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Health and Human Performance and the Graduate School are presented to you for the conferring of their degree. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the UF Board of Trustees, I'm pleased to confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy degree with all the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I offer you my congratulations, and I commend you to the fellowship of educated individuals. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree please rise? Dean Reed, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the Master of Science degree and having been recommended by the graduate faculty of the College of Health and Human Performance and the Graduate School are presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. Thank you, Dr. Janelle. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the UF Board of Trustees, I'm pleased to confer upon you the Master of Science degrees with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I offer you my congratulations, and I commend you to the fellowship of educated members of society. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? Dean Reed, these candidates have completed all of the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree, and having been recommended by the faculty of the College of Health and Human Performance, are presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the UF Board of Trustees, I'm pleased to confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. I offer each of you my sincere congratulations and I commend you to the fellowship of educated members of society. Graduates, if you're wearing your caps at home, you may now move your tassels from right to left. Again, congratulations to all of you. We will now recognize our fall 2020 graduates. Names will be presented by Dr. Josie Algren, Master Lecturer in the Department of Applied Physiology and Kinesiology. Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Taylor Buchanan, mentored by Professor Christopher Janelle. Dr. Erica Doolinting, mentored by Professor Yang J. Ko. Dr. Shihan Ma, mentored by Professor Andre Kirilenko. Dr. Hoda Manafian, mentored by Professor Heather Gibson. Dr. Ray Spradlin, mentored by Professor Elizabeth Barton. Dr. Melissa Weintz, mentored by Professor Michael Sagas. 
Dr. Yu Ha Zhu, mentored by Professor Lori Pennington Gray. Now presenting Master of Science. Christian Garcia. Brianna Hernandez. Julius Jones. Marcel Comer. Margaret Lamoth. Patrick Lewis. Chelsea McBride. Amber Schweitzer. Sianna Bonfiglio. Colleen Carney. Bryce James. Jasmine Parker. Natalie Spindle. Kelly Stalter. Tanisha Thompson. Elder Garcia Barela. Sierra Albano. Hallie Arnold. Laura Barnes. Carrie Blackshear. Youngmin Chun. Jack Clark. Hallie Dotterive. Brittany Gillum. Julius Jones. Savannah Jordan. Megan Kane. Yuan Hao Li. Yingzhan Ma. Joseph Mandel. Jacob Mowry. Christopher Nook. Matthew Pascal. Yogavarden Ramzamouj. Victor Salazar. Jackson Sears. Morgan Starling. Emily Syrup. Yaifei Tang. Jacob Tillman. Kyle Trask. Matt Turner. Jack Wilson. Chen Kun Zhu. Virginia Brubaker Flynn. Jennifer Simon. Kimberly Woolwine. Now presenting Bachelor of Science. Jenna Alderuccio. Caitlin Bailey. Ariana Bacalandro. Peyton Burkett. Maria Chaparro Vaca. Victoria Cohen. Claire Christ. Christopher Curry. Andrew Duong. Rachel Gowie. 
Nicholas Grijalva, John Hancock, Adam Huckman, Allison Holloway, Samantha Lee, Francisco Marchi, Joshua Murillo, Adam Weiss, Rebecca Previtt, Angelo Ranella, Jonathan Ruiz, James Sanchez, Jacqueline Siegel, Nicholas Swartz, Nathan Vanderpool, Nicolas Acevedo, Katarina Alvarez, Mia Barnes. Carla Bravo Figueroa, Hannah Bryson, Mario Serra, Nicole Cawthorn, Olivia Fisher, Holly Fugit. Raylan Gross, Holly Hall, Rachel Horning, Tracy Irvine, James Johns, Breen Keel. Teresa Litvanova, Jessica Pasco, Sam Payon, Sierra Porter, Spencer Rice, Whitney Talibert. Emily Tang, Nathan Tomalonis, Alexandra Valenti, Terence Vialva, Allison Walkup, Allison Williams. Monique Willis Long, Lauren Wright, Daniel Averett, Shaquiria Campbell, John Carey, Holly Carlton. Christian Cintron, Tyler Dyson, Cole Edgar, Devin Gable, Jordan Ganji, Jason Garcia. Sebastian Guzman Mayoral, Diamato Hopkins, James Hunter, Kylie Jones, Stephen Jones, Ryan Karstetter. 
Christian Lewis. Adriana Lopez Torres. Kyle McLaughlin. Logan Mercury. Stephen Michaud. Jack Morrow. Min Suk Moon. Brody Myers. Jake Noodleberg. Ryan Paddock. Peyton Palo. Valaine Paul. Connor Phillips. Benjamin Pokol. Iobeli Randolph. Ryder Resigno. Valerie Vargas Venegas. Russell Weems. JC Wegner. Patrick Yaloff. Jeanze African. Gray Bean. Rachel Bomzer. Alexander Cabrera. Catherine Carcamo. Lily Chow. Caitlin Desmond. Madison Edwards. Elidia Elejijo. Paige Garrett. Charles Gray. Heimin Zhang. Brianna Lacaruba. Carter Schaefer. Lily Zhou. Megan Vaughn. And our final fall 2020 graduate, Evan Urich. Family and friends, it's my pleasure to present to you the University of Florida College of Health and Human Performance Fall Class of 2020. Graduates, although you may leave our college, the University of Florida and College of Health and Human Performance will always be your home. And I pray that you return and see us as soon as we're able to be together safely. Thank you and congratulations, Class of 2020. In a moment, we will sing the alma mater. 